I just tested this for about an hour or two running at the 1.5 amp draw and it was cooking it was 167 degrees and it's not even hot today right now the outdoor temperature is only 73 so this was cooler than the previous test when it was like 80 something so if it's gonna run that hot then I might as well pull 2.2 amps and work better I mean I don't, I don't understand that it's, I don't know why it's it's getting so hot I wouldn't think it's a class 2 motor but maybe it is maybe it's a class 2 motor I mean a, a class 1 motor is good to 221 and so we're looking at 167 at 70 degrees 80 degrees would be 177 90 degrees would be 187 100 degrees would be 197 I mean 100 100 degrees 105 degrees it's about as hot as it ever gets in this part of the world so you know it'll be running worst case scenario upwards of uh, 190 200 degrees I mean that's real close to the limit I don't like that but I don't know I mean if it's gonna run that way no matter what might as well increase the pitch and let it work better so we're gonna we're gonna shoot for 2.2 amps which is what the one of the tags says and that's what I set it to originally the first time I did this so I don't know how much I don't know how much that was but let's see here try to bend it at the hub as much as I can so we don't mess up the blades but the hub is strong I mean, there's no point in showing this on video. Let me adjust it and then I'll come back on the video. Okay, we're back to 2.2 amps approximately. Here's low. One point three eight on low. And it does run a fair bit slower, but it's also a lot more useful. It moves a lot more air. Which is 1.7 and the high, which is the 2.07, 2.04. The amount of air this moves is insane. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to run on a couple more times in different areas, different speeds, and see what happens. I mean, if it's going to run at 167 degrees, it might as well run like this, because this works better. I'll try and find out what kind of classification the motor is. I would have guessed it's just a class 1, but maybe it's a class 2. I mean, this is a pretty well-built fan. And from the looks of the other motor, in the 18 when I took apart, and I wouldn't be too surprised if it is a class 2. Um, just for my reference, I'm trying to research it later. Here's the tags. I'll look up the UL507 and see what that is. And then... Here's the tag on the motor itself. It 
1650 RPM is pretty fast. Be interesting to put a tachometer on here and see how fast it's going, but I don't have one of those. I don't think I'm quite that curious to go out buy more equipment over this. This fan was expensive enough as it is. I will try to find out what class of motor it is, and I'll put that information in the description that nobody reads.